Forbes in the red in second place. And then Emma Forbes and Liz Eden, and they made that pretty well. So they're clear over the first six, going up now towards the NFU Mutual Risk Taker. All clear of that, now downhill to one of the big drops, the Humbert's Howitzer. They all cleared that. And then they come to nine. Nine, which is the shark for tractor pull. Uh, they clear that, and then on they come to 10 and 11. They're coming into the Cape Bailey pen. Through the pen. And out they come. Fourth member Liz Eden is having to do a little bit more of a turn. But they're all right, they're clear as they go on then to the to 12, the computer conquest then towards the R on Thompson legal leap. Swinging around now to go left handed down towards the King West conundrum, 14, and the third member landing there in about 2.15. Well, about 15 seconds off the pace of the current leaders, find the van, is the Wasps, but they certainly look as though they've saved some petrol in the tank on the first half of the course. Gallop now to the Stratton Parker's Bullfinch of 15, yawning ditch before it, but the four of them are safely over that. And now come to 16, 17, Humbert's Hollow, of course our title sponsors for this Open Championship. Four of them through the first part. Now just jump over the little hanging rail on top, then right-handed quickly for the Palisade. Lee T going at a great pace in front. Fourth horse just a little bit off it, but they've got three who are up on a similar sort of a time. They now swing left-handed in towards the water complex. The Welland Valley feature comes 19, then the Fisher's Pond at 20. Log drop in. The first three very quickly. The Green Rider just a little bit off the pace. That's Liz Eden. But Paul Andrews, Sue Chadwick and Brian Bustle.